out of a maritime hub, one man steps out of his imagination and into your reality. You are watching TDC Moncton. Hey folks, it's Nick and Mitch. <laughs> I can't talk to the uh, We just came back from seeing Harry Potter uh, Part 1 for the final Deathly, uh, Hallows. Deathly Hallows book. The movie itself did not disappoint. In fact, they did more in this one than we were expecting. Yes. The unfortunate downside is all the characters that I wanted to see, I didn't get a chance to see more of. Um, I was hoping more action from Doby the elf. I was hoping more action from the character with uh, the uh, spooky eye, which I can't remember his name. Well, you only see him once at the very beginning. Yep. Although it, it is one hell of an eye. Glick, 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 glick. Ooh, it's over here. Well, he's looking straight ahead. It's looking to his right, up, down, turns around, it just whites. Like, it, uh, what's, the, what's it doing? What's taking out his brain for tumors? Glick. It's like, oh! Uh. Anyways, the movie had uh, uh, characters that you've already seen. Uh, Helena Bonham Carter is part of uh, the Actually, Slytherins. Actually, most of the characters you've encountered throughout all the movies you see again in this. Yeah. Uh, At least a good portion of them. There's a good portion of the cast from, uh, well, all the Harry Potter movies, but there's also uh, a portion of the cast from uh, the Tudors. if I remember correctly. Well, no, there's, there's at least one actor from the Tudors who played... Um, one or two. Wasn't wasn't the son that we saw in the picture at the one part of the movie actually the king in the Tudors? No, that's played by the guy that's the um, the Gap uh, the Gap model. Not not Gap. Uh, guess. Guess. Anyways, your guess is as good as ours. Yes, it is. It's going to be down below in the links for all those that made an appearance, uh, credited or uncredited in the credits, as usual. And we recommend you fully to take the time to go see it because it's one of the rare movies that did not come out on bloody 3D. Not that 3D is bad if it's properly done. Rounds of applause from Michelle, his gloves of justice. Um, okay, he thinks that he's um, a, 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 flamenco dancer. a flamenco dancer. Great, and we're sitting in the ears. Let's bust up the shocks. Anyways, enough of this tomfoolery. Uh, it is for everyone. Uh, there is some minor blow, uh, blower, blood, and well, no guts. It's, a Harry, it's a Harry Potter film. Yeah. It's a give it an R rating. Honestly, everybody was written and probably filmed for wouldn't be able to see it. Exactly. So it was made for family. It was made for all Harry Potter fans. And uh, thankfully enough, they did not dumb it down to make it appeal to younger generations, but kept it true to everyone who's read Harry Potter, both young, medium, and old. And even though she's now legal age, we see nothing of Hermione. Okay, you know you're a nerd when you actually dream. Tell me there's not somebody else out there frustrated by this. Anyways, folks. With that said, I think that it's safe enough to say that this is a two thumbs up movie from both me and Mitch. It's, actually, it's half a movie because we're only halfway through the story. Yeah, but here's the best part. They filmed it in Scotland, England, and there was another in uh, Wales. There was also something mentioned in the closing credits, Italia Film Board or something. Mm. But I don't know where, what part they would have filmed in Italy. They didn't, at least not based on locations. Unless there's something coming up in the next one that they're giving credits for in this one. But mm, I don't know why they do that. That always is a possibility. But... I'm jumping to conclusions. All I read was Italia. That and the ending of the first part is not like most trilogies or duologies that tend to actually leave you hanging in no, the sense No, they actually that took a high point of the book. It's not like the crap they did with Lord of the Rings, like, like, the, the Hobbits have been kidnapped, let us run after them! Closing shot! It's a year later, we're still running! We're still running! We're running! We can't find them! We're running! We're running! So, uh, <coughs> let me use a phrase from Lord of the Rings. <coughs> if you make this a Hobbit, you'll definitely enjoy the movie. <laughs> hey. 
it's a play on words. But will you work with me, you moron? <laughs> Anyways, folks, go see it. Yeah, you really need to go see it. That you see it this week, next week, or three weeks from now. The second installment is only going to be in March next year, so we still have a lot yeah, of time I think it's to a good be six tortured. Months away. They're going to wait for it to have Dennis Ryan theaters and be out to DVD and Blu-ray for the release of the next movie. You think? I must be hard to, to maximize sales. You gotta love people than marketing. Anyways, from me and Mitch, have a nice one. <laughs>